Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a bit of an update sort of video. So today we are going to be comparing the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Trunks Boy from the Future, the re-release that came out in early 2024. Now this is practically the exact same figure that I looked at last year, however the reissue that came out this year has some quality of life improvements that I heard about, so I thought I'd put them to the test. Now in case you're wondering the package differences between the two so you know that you're getting the reissue, the Tamashi Nation's uh, quality sticker, the big circular sticker on the front of the box, the original release has got the big sticker and the new release has got the small sticker, so it is relatively easy to tell which release you have. So we'll get right into it, so out of the box both of the figures come with the exact same loadout they are realistically the exact same figure, not really anything different in terms of looks. But the original Trunks had three sort of major points of concern, which was the looseness of his legs, because if you just pick him up and shake him around, his legs flop around. They do hold their poses just fine, but they do feel quite a bit loose and not exactly the most reliable. But I personally didn't really have any issues with it. On the reissue that problem has been fixed, but the other major concern was the looseness of the left arm, where if you posed it around or swiveled it a bit too much it would just pop off super easily. Now I think that that issue was overblown a little bit because it was pretty easy to put back in, and if you were careful with it it wouldn't pop out. Or maybe my copy was just sturdy. Uh, anyway, the new release has fixed that entirely, you would need to put a bit of force into this to tug it off, but you can grab it from the base of the arm and just play around with it, swivel it around, do whatever, and the re-release is perfectly fine on that front. And then the last point of contention was the scabbard and, and the rubber strap that attached to the scabbard. Now this rubbery soft plastic strap, it would do the job, like you could put it uh, on trunks and pose them around and it'd be fine, but sort of like 9 times out of 10 it would pop off midway through posing and then you just need to reattach it, similar to the left arm problem. And it wasn't that big of an issue, but it was a little bit weaker than I'd like. On the re-release I heard that it is a bit more solid and testing it out it does feel a bit more solid, at least the main connection closer to the hilt of the sword definitely is. The bottom connection it might be just a touch more sturdy, as I was posing around the figure it did pop off a number of times but it did hold its position quite well, like it only really popped out when I was stressing the tension of that actual um, rubbery material, but otherwise it seemed about the same as the original. But the other two quality of life changes of the legs and the arm have definitely been addressed and this has made a pretty damn good figure and one of my favourite figures from last year, solidly one of the best SH figure arts to own. You get tons of options with him and he's just an absolutely fantastic figure. Add in extra effect parts that are sold separately and this Trunks is an even better figure and I had a lot of fun posing him up for this video much more confidently than before, he just poses so much more nicely and so much easier, and just knowing that you don't need to worry about things falling off him at every single moment. So if you do get the opportunity and don't have a Trunks already, I would say that the new reissue is very much worth your time. If you do have the Trunks and the quality control really bothers you, you should probably pick them up as well. Uh, if you don't really care either way, then either release is perfectly fine. But that's pretty much it, I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you all next time.